So, on Monday, Congress and the House officially voted unanimously to approve of a new stimulus package. Now, that sounds great and everything, and it does guarantee we'll get something, hopefully, at the end of the year into the beginning of next year, directly deposited into our banks or mailed into us via snail mail, as they call it, <laughs> if you will. Um, but besides that, even though this sounds great and everything, it still has a few, you know, iffy, if not improbable obstacles to overcome. The first one shouldn't be, you know, you know, that bad to overcome. In fact, it should be the easiest thing to overcome. And that is the fact that President Trump wants the, you know, the 600 to be increased, the $600 checks that would be deposited or mailed to us increased by 1400 um, which obviously Nancy Pelosi, the moment she heard this, is like, hey, that's what I've been wanting. That's what we've all been wanting. Let's do it. Let's let's make it happen. So, yeah, it sounds like, you know, whether you like that woman or you don't, it sounds like she's trying to take credit, uh, you know, as to being, you know, part of the party that's uh, part of the members of the Democratic Party that had suggested this originally uh, beforehand. Now, we'll find out either today or tomorrow exactly what happens but we should be getting something you know financially to help us get through the rest of the year and into next year now speaking of donald trump you know there's a lot of people that feel and this is just like speculation on their part that he's still going to play more political ball with this and that one of the things he's going to play political ball with when it comes to this is getting congress and the supreme court to look into the investigation of fraudulent of voting during the election and basically by doing so ensure that there's a chance he will remain in office for the next four years in fact when he came on to uh, Twitter and Facebook and social media with his video kind of denouncing this $600 stimulus package he said at the end that if they don't do something to make it better financially that the next administration will have to come up with a new package and that might be his and that they will get it done. So he still believes and has faith that he's going to be back in office for another four years. We'll find out come January 6th of 2021. But yeah, you know, I can understand where he's coming from though. You know, one thing he pointed out is that, you know, businesses can't, you know, reopen on $600 alone. You need more than that, you know, to kind of stay afloat, stay afloat and everything. And 2000 would be more uh, suffice uh, to do so. But again, I can also understand, you know, where people are coming from when they probably have this belief and speculation that Trump's going to be using this, you know, more so as the days go on to play more political ball. Now, whether or not he plays it right away before he signs the thing, if the increase happens, or if he plays it afterwards and says, hey, look, I did this for you. You know, I made the suggestion and everything, and I, and I signed off on it thanks to you increasing it, but now you got to do something for me or something like that. There are people that believe he's going to probably use what happens with the stimulus package before Christmas, hopefully, to get his to get what he wants out of the situation to ensure have another, he'll have another four years in office but i look at it two ways i you know i look at you know i look and kind of agree with congress with congress and the house that six if they can only do 600 along with the additional 300 for unemployment if that's the best they can do then fine at least you know a lot of us are getting something you know to kind of you know help us out for the rest of the year but I can also understand where Trump's coming from when he says that's not enough, especially if you own a small business. You need more than that to be, you know, to really uh, stay afloat and help your business stay afloat um, as well. So, yeah, wh however, whatever the solution is going to be in the end, we are guaranteed, get, we are guaranteed to get something, um, hopefully, within the end of the year into the early beginning of January. That is a fact. Uh, but what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with Trump on the fact that 600 is not enough and 2000 is? Or do you think, you know, or do you agree with House and Congress and the fact that they did the best they could and that the 600 along with the additional 300 for unemployment is the best, is the best solution for the time being? What do you guys think? 
Let me know down below. Comment if you like. I do sound like uh, I do apologize. I should say if I sound like I'm stumbling on my words or I'm a little out of it. I am tired. I'm gonna go lie down and rest for a little bit uh, because it is still early. I'm gotten up and I'm up because I, I had to go use the restroom. So I could. So it's hard for me to get back to bed. So I decided to do some videos instead to kind of pass the time. Uh, but let me know what you guys think though. Do you agree with Trump or do you agree with Congress in the House on? You know, just on which direction you think the stimulus is best suited to go in. Uh, let me know down below. Comment if you like. I'm out.